Okay, guys, my brother, um, Taylor Forrest, right? Taylor Forrest Music. He was basically saying um, to go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 and chapter 4. Well, as soon as I saw that, I went right to 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 and chapter 4. Why? Because as a people, to be honest, we are conditioned to just do what we hear. Now, the Spirit of God will give us self-control, and we're not just, you know, the sheep hear God's voice, and a stranger they won't follow. So it's not like we're just going to, you know, do everything that we're told to do or hear. Um, but people are generally like that, who don't have the Spirit of God, and what we need to understand... Um, for anyone that's new watching this video, by the way, the statement that I just meant... I'm not being judgmental of you. It's just a natural thing. If you don't, if you're not careful, if you don't do your own research or ask God for the truth, then naturally you're just going to be swayed by whatever you hear. You know what I mean? Uh, whether it's, um, you know, a news channel that you watch. Oh, you won't watch this channel, but you watch that other news channel because that's the one that has the truth. You know what I mean? When really they're just playing on our minds and both sides are are in it for the money and working for the same evil powers behind the scenes but we're so deceived and so many lies have been told that we think that we're on the right side for, by being a republican or by being a democrat when really the whole thing is deception you know what i mean and it goes deeper but what i mean to say is most of us will just accept what we hear and do what we hear as far as instruction like oh buy this or we have an advertisement put out on tv and naturally we want to buy it we impulse buy things like that naturally we're just you know kind of animalistic to be honest without god you're you're just kind of doing what you hear and accepting what you hear and just doing what other people tell you to do now what i mean what I mean to say with this is my brother Taylor Forrest says, go read 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 and chapter 4. Do you have any idea how many new people that aren't even Christians are going to look at that and say, huh, well, maybe I'll check that out. Maybe I'll go read 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 and chapter 4. Why? Because naturally, as humans, we just do what we hear. We want to be led. We need a shepherd. Naturally, we'll just follow somebody else. Without God's Spirit, you're not going to rise up as a leader. So recognizing that, and also the fact that the Bible says, listen, you need to be wise to win souls, just by knowing that people naturally just accept what they hear, and, and they, they, they naturally want a shepherd. They're looking for somebody to lead them. Now, in that regard, you can take advantage of that, for good, not for evil, but for good, you'd be surprised how many people, when you tell them to go read scriptures, and you tell them to pray and start talking to God, even in public, tell them to start talking to God. Tell, the, ask, tell them to ask God to come into their life, to ask God to show them the truth. You'd be surprised how many people will just follow you. And just naturally just do what they hear you say. Now, you want to lead them to Christ, not to you. Not to your page. To Christ. To ask God for the truth. To go to God. To go to the Bible. But just know that you have more influence than you think. When you tell people, whether it's in public or on the, these social media platforms. So start telling people things like Mr. Uh... Taylor Forrest is doing. Go read 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 and 4. You can't go wrong leading people to the Bible, you know, or just give them a little nugget. You know, maybe they don't want a, a new believer, for example, in public or something like that. Just tell them to just, just read, I don't know, you got somebody that's feeling down. Tell them to read, you know, uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things, all things. Through Christ who strengthens me. You have no idea who is just going to accept that in faith. And then all of a sudden, boom, they ac accept Jesus Christ two months later. I mean, that's how this works, man. 
People just accept what they hear for the most part that don't know God. And most people don't know God. Or they'll do what they hear in Jesus' name. So you have more influence than you think. You can use that for good and lead a lot of people to Christ just by giving them little pieces and telling them to go to God and to start talking to God like they would talk to anybody else, like a friend, a best friend, or something like that. You'll be surprised how many people you lead to Christ just by doing that and how many people you can encourage and uplift in love in Jesus' name just by that. You have more influence than you think.